Good morning, all my kings, queens, and in-betweens. What's going on? Happy Juneteenth. I just wanted to get on here and just say a little something to my jazzy life. Girlfriend, let me let you in on a little something since you like to insert yourself in other people's business. I couldn't keep quiet anymore. Here in Cali, when it comes to child support, sweetheart, <laughs> that little girl of his is over, what, seven, eight, nine? How old is she? What, 10, 11? Let me tell you how this is going to go for Mr. Chris. He's going to walk out owing child support. You know, you're so adamant, so excited, you know, pumped up and head, you know, oh, we're going to be at the court, but he's going to be at the court, baby. He he may not want to. He, he's going to have to go. But sweetheart, <laughs> I don't know what you think is about to happen, but we want an update. He is going to walk out of that court building owing arrears. He has not financially supported this child her whole entire life. He is going to walk out owing arrears. Be careful what you ask for. And really and truly, you're not even his wife. You're not even in a position to sit back and discuss this man's business with another woman. I can't stand women like you. It's not your business. That was a situation way before you. You need to worry about stinker, stinker bug and your other children. You need to leave Medusa and her kids. Leave that situation alone. It's not your place. You're too busy trying to play wifey back on the child support. <laughs> because you, you won't get it. Your mind won't allow you to get it. He is going to walk out owing arrears. Now, all of this, you think she's going to be intimidated and scared by visitation? She shouldn't be. Now, unless she's completely uncomfortable with her daughter being around Chris for whatever reason, then that, would, that can be discussed in court, and that would be taken into consideration. The court will usually go by status quo. If this child has never spent the night with this guy, has no relationship at all with this man, the court is not going to make her go somewhere that was never um, the situation. They don't have a relationship. It's not status quo. It's not something that she's used to doing. The court is not going to make this child go somewhere that she's not comfortable with. They're not going to do that. Believe me, I know. Okay? Believe me, I know. And you're, you're trying to really low-key threaten her, saying, well, it's going to be a split between the kids. No, you don't have an open case, sweetheart. Your child will not be considered. Because as far as the courts know, they don't know if your child is even his. Okay? So, no, no other children will be considered. He can go on court saying he has 20 kids. The point is, it's that one mother that's going in there with an open case, and that child support order is going to take her child into consideration. Why would they consider the other children when Chris is not paying support for none of his children? I don't know. That's what was said on the Internet. That's what was said by his other kid's mom. So why would they consider his other children? Hmm. Unless the moms have an open case saying that they're having a hardship and they need financial support from the father, then yeah, the other children will be considered. You, ha you don't have an open case. You're, playing, you're too busy playing wifey and settling for the mediocre uh, daddy. <laughs> pop in, pop out, come around the 21st get them a little pair of outdated Nikes, you know, you, that type of stuff is, is he's not obligated. So <laughs> don't come for me because I'm telling you, I'm quick with it and I'm way older than you, sweetheart. But it's funny that 
you will get here and, and get online and spread lies about how the child support system work. You can't speak on Cali, sweetheart. I'm here. Okay. You can't speak on I And I work very close with child support. Okay. But what I'm telling you is all of that, you thinking you're about to travel with your child, he's going to have a passport. You want to buy a future home and, oh baby, you can scratch all of that. You can scratch all of that. That's why it's better if a man just take care of his obligations, take care of his children, take care of his responsibilities. Make sure your kids are good. You created them, you take care of them. A lot of women don't ask for much. But if you think you're going to ride off into the sunset, you marry him if you want to. It's one thing I would have never done. At your age, at I'm not marrying nobody, making no plans with nobody that owes child support or the IRS. You better take it from me, big girl. Those are the two you don't mess with. <laughs> you can't file bankruptcy on child support, just like you can't file on, on, on um, school loans or anything like that. You can't file bankruptcy on that. You have to pay that. When he dies... They're shaking his po pockets before they put him six feet under. Any insurance policies, anything he has. Whoever has an uh, arrears, whoever has an active case with child support, they are going to get their cut first. Just thought I'd let you know. You know, stop spreading information that you have no clue on. You know, I understand it's content, content, but at least... Read up on it. Like I said, I don't know how Texas get down, but it can't be no different. Medusa, if you feel safe enough letting your child go with this guy that you have had no relationship with all these years, then, hey, do what you do what you feel is best for your child. I, me personally, not my daughter. Mm -mm, no, no. And I would express that to the court. So they can take that into consideration, whether it be unsupervised visits or supervised visits. But I'll tell you one thing. If you do feel safe with this guy, oh, well, let him be daddy for the weekend. Jasmine, act like, you know, that's a threat. Let him be daddy. And you're going to take that time and pamper yourself. Well, you have other children, too. But, you know, you can take that time and do you. <laughs> let him be daddy. Okay. But, Jasmine, sweetheart, stop inserting yourself. And then you wonder why you were getting caught up in everybody's bullshit. Sweetheart, you insert yourself in everybody's business that don't have nothing to do with you. Even with your other situations, you insert yourself in other people's business. And then you sit around, well, what would I do? Me? Why, why me? No, that's because I remember when you were at your lowest and you've only been at your highest since you met Chris. And I'm sorry. As a woman my age, as a woman my you could get on here and call me, whatever you old, whatever you want to call me. But I'm wise, sweetheart. I've been through the bush. And I can tell you about it. Okay? Sweetheart, can no man control how I feel about my life, how I move? You'll learn that eventually. With or without. I mean, I'm happily with my man now. I'm happily married with my man. However, my children are healthy. You know, I started all over. My boys are 26, 21 back there. 26, 21. My girl is four. Started all over. And we're good. But he knows, like anyone else that I've ever been with, with or without your presence, sweetheart, my life still roll. So can't no man control how happy and excited I am about my life and how depressed I'll be. No man is given that much power. And you need to learn the same. You need to learn the same. Stop inserting yourself in other folks' business. That's all I came here to say. Because child support is about to mop his ass up. Take care of your kids and you wouldn't have this issue. And you got on here and said that your kids are on child support. Your, your kid's father said that he wasn't on child support. So I, anyway, not my monkey, not my circus.
do you, but stay out of other people's business. You are not that man's wife. When you become his wife, then you can, you have, you that, that's your time to get on the stage. You're not his wife. And even as a wife, anything done before me, there is none of my business. But when you start talking IRS and when you start talking child support, sweetheart, uh-uh. <laughs> no. I wouldn't put myself in that situation up. So you should learn the same. Look at my shirt. This shirt is way too big. But anyway. That's neither here nor there, but like I said, stop inserting yourself in other folks' business, okay? Your life will be so much more peaceful. And you say you mind your business, but you really don't. You say you stay in your lane, but you don't. And that's why you keep, it's like a revolving circle. You keep getting caught up in bullshit because you do not stay out of people's business. Stay out, my, my lane, I don't get involved with nobody's business. My phone don't ring. People know me. My phone don't ring. Don't invite me. I'm not coming. I'm that kind of Gemini. I stay in my lane. I don't get involved in nobody's business. When you start messing with my kids or me, that's when we, go, we, we have to have a discussion. But I stay out of folks' business. Not my monkey, not my circus. <laughs> all right? That's all. Happy Juneteenth.